What's poppin'? Guys, Gary Champion here. And today's battle, we are going to be taking on the Ann Arbor Alkazams for week six of the GDL, the Gar Champions Draft League. So, there's a lot at stake here. We are both currently at four and one. And uh, we're all fighting that for that first place spot. And four and one record is time for first place. So, it's a lot at stake. And also, it gets personal because there's 26 years of friendship on the line for this battle. So, feel free to leave a like and uh, subscribe if you like these high stakes battles where I could potentially lose friends. So I need more in case I knew, need new ones. So subscribe, all right? Um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. And uh, if you don't feel like going through the team previews, timestamps will be in below if you wanna go directly to the battle or if you just wanna look at my sets. Either way, thank you for watching. Enjoy your day, enjoy the video. And uh, yeah, let's roll right into it. Alright, so for this team breakdown, we're going to start with Iron Haxilus. And we are here to hopefully get some hacks this match. <laughs> it's going to be kind of funny. we got Choice Scarf on this this saying Modest Nature, because the only thing that outspeeds us is, I believe, Iron Valiant, if it gets a speed booster energy, as well as, like, the Great Tusk. Anything that Scarf will outspeed us, that is, like, along the lines of Greninja... Iron Valiant and Tusk. Possibly Como. Oh, I don't I doubt Como will be Scarf. But as you can see, we are max uh, special attack and speed with Hurricane, Dark Pulse, Air Slash, and Earth Power. Pretty standard set. And we did get a flinch last time we spammed Air Slash. So hopefully we can get a flinch just you know to help his name Haxulus. Next up we have Toxic. My opponent will know. I expect him to dance <laughs> when this Pokemon comes out. So we got the Quick Claw. Now, here's the thing. Him and I have a history. Okay? I like to run stupid items. And they usually work for me. And it always works against him, which is the funny part. So we're going to be prompting Quick Claw on our, one of our slowest boys here. The Toxic. Britney Spears reference, by the way. So we are running clear smog to stop any stinking setup between Greninja, between the uh, clanging scale soul thing on Como, whatever the hell that thing is. So we're stopping setup. All right, we got clear smog. We're here to spread some toxic spikes because there's no toxic Pokemon or poison Pokemon. And uh, we got Willy Wisp to cripple physical attackers. Now, one thing we do have to watch out for is a Conkeldur, and I'm willing to give that thing a free gut boost. Uh, I'm willing to. As long as it dwindles down the rest of the team, I'm fine with it. Um, and then we have Memento. So, Memento is going to help one of our setup Pokemon here in the back, which we will get to here in a minute. And so, we are Bold Nature, Max Defense, and Max HP. So, this thing's going to take physical hits for days. We got to counter the Great Tusk, which is... Which we're immune to with his uh, ground moves with Levitate as well as Palosan. You know, so this thing having Levitate I think is more beneficial than neutralizing gas because it's not really, it's not going to neutralize the, the Paradox Pokemon stuff. It's not going to affect anything at all with Como with the soundproof abilities. I don't care. So we're running Levitate. A lot of ground Pokemon this team. Next up, we have I'm Groot, the Arbeliva. This is a slightly different set than I've brought in the past. Running Assault Fest, not uncommon with the Fairy Terra. It is one of my Terra captains. <coughs> Excuse me. And we're fully, well, not fully, but we are mostly defensive, our Beliva. As you can see with the Assault Fest, we're going to be helping our special bulk with that. With a little tiny bit of investment, but mostly defense. So we are here to sponge any kind of hit. Doesn't matter. We're here to sponge it. We got Giga Drain, Leaf Storm to almost guarantee a kill. On certain Pokemon. I actually didn't count Palosan, but I know for sure it nearly Oko's Clotzer. Which is gonna be nice. Earth Power and Dazzling Gleam for coverage because Fairy is really good against my opponent this week. So, believe. 
masculines. Believe in our believa. And it is Groot. That's all it knows how to say. Next up, we're bringing back Nagini. I tried to change the name, so it's not obvious what set I'm bringing. But, uh, yeah, Nagini. Bring it back with the Bright Powder. This is also part of the shenanigans I'm trying to bring. Because Bright Powder and Quick Claw are my two signature items. So, we got that 10% chance to miss. Which we will need because we are running an agility set. Modest Nature, Max Speed, and Special Attack. And between all the coverage moves, if I get an agility off, I outspeed... Booster uh, speed Booster Energy Valiant, and that's all we need out speed. The rest is history. Now, there is some things that can live a hit, which we got to eliminate those first. So I'm kind of concerned about a special defense investment on Hippowdon, if that comes. Palisand's going to be an issue. And the Clotzer. I, I don't think I have anything that can one-shot Clotzer other than Sneasler. So that thing, I don't know how, but that thing is just tanky AF. So if we can eliminate or get chip on that thing, great. That only helps our Nagini here. And we got cute charm. Not that we're going to need it, but if we get the memento boost from the toxic, the wheezing, then it could help us help us out a little bit. So yep, bright powder Nagini. Next up, we're bringing back the Barbie bitch. Classic. All right, so we got weakness policy, and we are running a completely different set, and I'm most likely going to regret this. Let's hope. Um, hope not. But we are running an Endure Reversal set. So with the weakness policy, it's only going to boost our attack stats by two, but we're also going to double our speed. And at that point, we just got to make sure there's no priority users. I forgot to add Dragonair to the list, I believe. Dragonair is on the team. But, uh, yeah. So, we got Dire Claw to help spread status. Now, plus two doesn't guarantee a kill on everything. But, re with Reversal, it should it should do a lot of damage. So, Admit Nature outspeeds everything. So, we don't need to run to the Speed Nature. So, yes. Barbie Bitch is coming back. Be hype. Hopefully, we can get some more kills with this thing. And then, last up, we got Thor. I only named it Thor because... It's one of his favorite Marvel characters, aside from Wolverine. And so I just want this thing to cause problems. Against a team, against a poke, or not poke, against a character he really enjoys. So hopefully he'll not like Thor anymore after this. So Aloma Mola is split defenses. It's meant to take everything. With Regenerator, obviously. We got Play Rough to hit. A lot of things really hard. It actually does some solid chip. Chip damage on a lot of things. We got uh, Scald to help burn things, Flip Turn, Momentum, and Wish Passing. The usual shenanigans. So guys, with that said, uh, we're just going to dive right into the battle. See you over there. Alright, so here's our battle. We found our opponent. And my heart rate is through the freaking roof like always. I'm extremely nervous for this one. Uh, so a lot of ground boys. So the Toxic is really nice. Greninja's coming. Arbeliva is a great... Oh, Arbeliva just goes freaking ham. I almost should have put Grass Terror on this thing. Man. Yeah, Grass Terror would have been fire. I mean, it's grass, but not... You know what I mean. Alright. Arb is looking really good. Um, the question is who to lead. We have a lot of potential... For Barbie Bitch. Um, but you have to watch out for Sand. I don't think they have any priority. I don't think Water Shirt is priority. So. Um. Yeah, I didn't think about a lead. <laughs> okay. Uh, do I go Haxulus? Right off the get-go. I, th I don't think it's... I don't think that's a great idea. Or is it? Screw it. I'm putting a lot on the line here. But screw it. Because, uh, yeah, we, we'd be in a really good spot. Because we will outspeed everything but the Valiant. Is the Valiant here? This is, this is what I'm talking about, the nerves. The nerves are so freaking annoying. 
<sighs> okay, 26 year friendship on the line here, guys. Leave a like and sub if you like this type of content. Hit Powdown comes out. Okay. Sandstream is up. I'm just going to go straight for Dark Pulse. Why not? We could flinch. Now, we'll see here, too, if this thing is specially defensive. It might be. Okay, so rocks are up. We do not have any form of hazard removal. So I don't know if this is a roll. I feel like it could be. Um, if we get a flinch, I'd be super clutch. Yeah, you know, I'm honestly just going to play for a flinch here. We have nothing to lose. We can get rid of the sandstorm. I do get chipped down a little bit, but I'm fine with that. Okay, that's fine. What comes out? Hopefully not wheezing. Okay, the Barbie bitch comes out. And I think a Dire Claw is super free. If they want to switch into something, I'm fine with that. Ooh. Does it kill them? That I don't know. I don't know if this is a good play. But screw it. I'm going for it. I don't care. I really don't care. Possibly roar. But we also might just lose uh, the Barbie bitch right now. But I really don't know how valuable Barbie bitch is. This match, really. Okay. Something's going to get possibly status. Which I'm cool with. If we put this thing to sleep, it'd be so dope. Okay, we get the uh, the, the Parahaxi. Okay. I think we can safely go Toxic here and set up a T-Spike. If we can get some things poisoned, I'd be cool with it. Interesting. So we don't have Levitate anymore, which is slightly unfortunate. That's a very interesting, interesting set. What Pokemon? I don't want to risk losing him, so I'm going to go Groot. Okay, so we could have gotten a layer of spikes up. So, this thing can Terra. This thing can Terra. What would want to come in on this? I don't think anything does. We'll scout and see if there is a Terra. It, I believe it has Grass Terra. Find out. I'm fine with Grass, honestly. Fairy, okay. So it's going to be a neutral hit. But again, I'm fine with it. Okay, Giga Drain doesn't do too much. So it leads me to think that this thing's specially defensive. Sludge Bomb. Yeah, so that kind of hurts a little bit. This 
thing does have access to shore up. Yeah, Sneasler is going to be pretty dope if we can get him in on this. Um, hmm. I don't want to waste Giga Drains. Let's get him close. Okay. I'm fine with getting poisoned. We're not going to, look, luckily. I think here, I leave Storm. I leave Storm to eliminate this thing. We just have to connect. We need to connect this. Yes! Okay, does this kill? Thank gosh, the Palisand is gone. You gotta believe in our believer, guys. You have to believe. That is why we threw that on there. That is exactly why we threw that on there. It takes some big damage on our opponents. Whew. All right, that Palisand being gone is great. I can see Greninja possibly coming in. But not, no, actually no. Um, the Valiant, okay. Speed was heightened. Okay. Let's freaking do this. What does this thing want to do? Okay. <laughs> I had to double check I actually was Terra Fairy. Alright. Does Arb take this KO? What does this thing want to do? Knock off. I'm totally cool with that. We should kill this thing. I hope we do. We're not... This thing's paper thin. Oof. Okay. I think I Giga Drain for damage. And because Terrain's up. I believe is pretty solid right now. We do have to be cautious of a gunk shot on Greninja now. But we're going to get a crap ton of health back from the Giga Drain here. The heart's pretty fitting, I will say. So yeah, Giga Drain puts a lot of pressure on our opponent here. Okay. Alright. Alright, I see you. I see you. Losing Arb does suck. It does. But I think we can handle. We can handle things. At least Arb takes two this match. So the Clots are... Um, how do we handle Clotzer? I think we can handle it with Sneasler, actually. Okay. Grassy Train's gone. We'll send in Toxic. As we wait for our opponent. So the... Did we kill the hip out on? No, I think it's low health. It is low health though. We could slack off, which would be annoying. Okay, Greninja comes out. An extra sensory... Oh, there's my shiny Greninja that I let him borrow. So this thing could extra sensory... I think Toxic Spikes is going to be nice to lay.
Okay, that's fine. Gonna lay some spiky spikes up. We're gonna clear smog. Okay. Okay, great toss. We can will o wisp this thing. Easy. <clears throat> and really put a crip on this thing. We just have to connect. We need to connect here. Okay, that's fine. There we go. Okay. Thing has been revealed to be heavy duty boots, so this thing is essentially gonna be useless. I'm gonna set up toxic spikes. Okay, that's fine. The Powdon comes in. <sighs> I don't think we can stop a slack off here. Unfortunately. But, we can threaten it. We can threaten a burn on it. Now, does he decide to go roar? Knowing that that thing is essentially useless. Okay. Yep. Slack off is definitely the safest play. And this is about to be the freest freaking skull. I kind of have a feeling that the Greninja specs. I have a slight feeling. Hmm. Does he switch into it? Does he switch Greninja right now? We're going to cover the switch. Damn it. Okay. Alright. Let's hope we get something good in here. Alright, I'm fine with that. Uh, we do take chip every time we get brought out, though. But I am risking the flinch. I don't... Or, I'm risking... I'm risking it. All for the flinch. Because we have to... Um, we have to kill this thing to stop this stupid, uh, we have to stop this stupid roar tactic. What is taking a dark pulse? I guarantee it's not going to like, this thing could be AV. It does take some poison. It's going to take poison and chip. That's 100% assault vest. Oh, no, it's not. It's just fully specially defensive and bested. This might be a throw, but I have to risk it. I have to risk it. We can get a flinch, or we can get a crit. I'm totally risking it here. Oh, that's why we call the Iron Axulus. That is why we call it Iron Haxulus, people. Okay, so that Clotzer is not in a good position. Not at all. Luckily, our item has not been revealed. Possibly. I've literally just been spamming one move in this Dark Balls. <clears throat> this is still anybody's match. But it is really nice that the tusk is burned. So the Haxulus takes Clawster down. That frees a lot up for later. 
Greninja could come in. I feel like Greninja is a pretty free play. Great Tusk. Interesting. Okay. <clears throat> so I could see a spin here. Um, this will reveal something. This could be a huge, huge throw if I go Nagini and he somehow decides to want to. But man, I gotta make some big plays here. We gotta be aggressive. This thing is gonna spin. It has to spin. It has to spin. There we go. This thing could have Heavy Slam, actually. Um, we're going for game here. We're going for game. Oh! Yo! That's hype. That is hype. Grass Knot should hopefully kill. Grass Knot should hopefully kill. I'm hoping this freaking kills. If we get roared out, I'm totally fine with this. If we attacked, I'm pretty sure we guaranteed kill, unfortunately, but um, we 100% grass knot. That might, that could possibly be game. That could possibly be game. Oh, that was so risky. But I had to do it. I had to. Oh my gosh. Okay. This thing also could be Sash. But I don't care. We got we, we got a lot out of this Enamorous. This game. And it takes a knockout. Greninja's down. All that's left is a burnt tusk and something else I can't remember. Yeah, great tusk. Is that it? That's it. Man, I knew we had to get in Nagini to clean up and it worked. Oh, that was clean. Oh, that risk was so worth the reward. So this match, uh, that was a 5-0. Holy crap. I thought I lost another Pokemon. That I knew that Nagini was going to be freaking hype. Oh, my gosh. <sighs> okay, guys. So here's the thing. We put 26 years of friendship on the line. So if you guys don't leave at least 10 likes uh, for, our, for my risk of losing one of my greatest friends of all time, Leave a like on this video, comment, and uh, tell me if you guys have any friends that you've had for most of your life. I would love to hear it, guys. So thank you so much for watching. Leave a like, subscribe, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace.